Hey guys, Nick here with Nightlife Kennel. I got Miss Caitlin with me again tonight. We're down here at Will Green's property in Polk County. If you watched the video I posted up a day or two ago, um, we actually come down here and put out some feeders. Uh, me and her brought Tuff and Nick's down here, done a little bit of walk around. Put up a coon feeder down through here a few hundred yards. And uh, tonight, we got kind of a special night. We haven't showed this dog on camera yet. Um, well, we, first off, we have JJ with us. You guys have seen JJ. That's uh, Caitlin's a little over a year old dog that she's working with right now. We're trying to get him going good. But we also have another dog. His name is Jasper, uh, a.k.a. J-Bo. Caitlin calls him. Um, how long have you had J-Bo? Um, two years. About two years? Mm -hmm. Well, it was. We went up to Kentucky one time to look at some dogs, and Caitlin found J-Bo up there. And he was in very, very poor condition. We got him out of Harlan County, Kentucky. Uh, right here is a picture of what he looks like. You can see he's in uh, really poor condition when we got him. Uh, since then, Caitlin's brought him down here. Um, she paid like 50 bucks for him. We don't know how old he is. We don't know what his bloodline was. He come with no papers, but she basically rescued him. She's got him fattened up and looking good. We've tried hunting him a lot over the last two years. Um, he just didn't take the coon hunting as well as we had hoped for. But Caitlin loves him. He loves us. And so he's here to stay for sure. He will tree about every possum in the woods if we get a chance. But you know what? It's fun. We, we let him get out. We let him stretch his legs. He absolutely loves it. And if he's going to get some of the possums killed off of our feeders in coon season, more power to him. We don't care. So. We haven't had him on video yet, but we're going to get him out tonight. We're going to let him run. We also got JJ. We're going to put him in the woods. Hopefully, we'll get a tree something and get you guys some good footage. I will say one thing about J-Bo. He is a heck of a tree dog. He's got a mouth that will not quit, and you can hear him all over the country. So if he trees, you're going to get to hear some good tree, and that's for sure. <coughs> Appreciate you guys tag along with us. Hopefully we'll get to show you something cool. All right, guys. Uh, if you'll notice one thing different tonight. I left my big dog cap light at home. So luckily I got my old big dog belt light with me. It did uh, work just fine, but sure missing my big dog Genesis. So we're going to go ahead and call up the dogs. Go ahead. Go. Alright guys, we just cut uh, JJ and Jasper in the woods here. They're down there milling around a little bit. They're not real far off that feeder, so I don't know. Maybe they're smelling something. We'll see. So we just cut them in there, and uh, Jasper, green dog, JJ is blue dog. And they're just now getting out about 100 yards. Okay, they uh, about 130 yards. They cut back toward the river a little bit. All right, so they went out there a little bit, and then they circled back. They're coming back to where they were when they first started milling around. I don't know what 
what that means. I don't know if they smell something right there or what. Being the fact we turn this right dark, maybe something dinned up there and laid up and hadn't come down. I don't know. Just nice to take a good dog that was abused most of his life. He's been brought back down here, fattened up, loved up, put him in the woods. Let him do what Hound Dog wants to do. Is that right, Caitlin? Yeah. Alright, folks, well, these guys are just circling like madmen down here. They've been in and out and around, and they keep coming back to the same spot. Well, I don't know if they give up or what, but they come off that, and they're about 60 yards from us now. So they come off of it, went up this creek a little ways, doubling back, milling around. Definitely something over. Yeah, so uh, just a second ago, I heard one of them just make one bark, just oh, and that was it. They made it back to where they were before. I mean, they're all over that area down there. Like I said, one little bark. Haven't heard nothing else. Couldn't even get it on film. Well, now they doubled back to the same old spot. So, they're beating that thing to death looking. So now they decided to split up a little bit. Jasper Green, JJ Blue Dog. Poor JJ keeps running the same like figure eight through there. Hey JJ, how you doing, son? <laughs> All right. What you been doing, buddy? You been in the creek? You didn't find that coon, son? Oh, you're wet. Okay, guys, I don't know if you just seen, but I got my uh, my boots and my shorts on because it's so hot. I was actually going to wear my snake chaps and forgot all about it. So, snake chaps are in the truck. So, there's my style. <laughs> Woo! Look, son. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, guys. So, we, uh, we took JJ. And Jasper out tonight, you got to introduce to Jasper, so we don't take him out very often, but we just want to let him get him stretch his legs, so you think we done good with him tonight? Yeah, I guess. You got some exercise? Yep. Is that all you say? Yep. Say something else. Something else. <laughs> okay, guys. Do me a favor. I know it's a quick video. I know we didn't get a tree dog action. Click like if you don't mind. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my videos as well. And in the comment section below, this is very crucial, very important. Please, everybody, everybody participate in this. Tell Caitlin, hey, and ask her a question. Then on the next video, Caitlin is going to ask you guys, or answer you guys' this question. we got to get her to talk more. So, appreciate it, guys. If you don't mind, follow me on Instagram, at Nightlife Kennel. Facebook, Nightlife Kennel as well. In the meantime, tree one for me.